Oh, that's recorded. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Alright, let's drink some wine. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Hinchberger. And I'm Paul Hinchberger. And we are the Wine Brothers. That's us. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be drinking some wines from the southeast side of Spain. Um, so, you know, I would say probably the most general region down there that people think of when they think of wine would be like Pumia. Uh, you know, big monastrels, big and dark and beefy, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, however, this is the House of Vega Faro. Uh, they've been around since 1960 or so. Um, very, very cool, cool estate. All super, very, very organic. Um, and they make amazing wines, but they're in Utia Raquena. So Utia Raquena and Valencia. Um, so if you think of where Valencia is, right on the coast, directly west is, you'll have the, re the Dio of Valencia, and you'll have the... Um, uh, Dio of Utiarraquena, like right to the west of that mm -hmm. as well. So these guys make wine from both those Dios, and they actually also make some cava down there as well. So they, they cover three spans of denominational origin. So it's kind of cool. Um, Why don't we get to drink some cava? It's a good point, Paul. Well, because we're focusing on reds today. Reds. <laughs> so um, we're going to start with their little uh, Vego Faro Tinto. Uh, and they're just, they're, they're beautiful. So... Rodolfo uh, Valiente Garcia is the winemaker owner. You know, he he's kind of does does all of this this awesome juice. And what I love is that he plays with some really cool native varietals down there, but he also makes sure that they're balanced. Um, so this is actually fifty percent of Bobal, uh, and then fifty percent Merlot. So Merlot being kind of an international grape varietal, but it, it's a plush grape. It, it helps round things out. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had a hundred percent Bobal, Paul, have you ever had a hundred percent Bobal? Yes. Intense. Yeah. I mean, they're like big, tannic, tannic, yeah, really, really crazy, massive. crazy, massive wines. So he cuts this with 50% Merlot, really plushes it out, makes it a super approachable, enjoyable drinking wine. I love the nose of this. Yeah, Are you digging really, the nose? Really juicy, really jammy. Smell it out for me. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> jammy. <laughs> Cranberries. Cranberries. Yeah, the, the fruit, mm, the fruit, really and good. then and then kind of this neat little mineral tone to it too. There's some sort of rock in there. I don't think I've licked it yet, mm. but it's something out there that I know it's on the ground. You're, you're thinking about licking it. I'm thinking about licking it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna seek out this rock and lick it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyways, this sometimes sometimes Paul and I we, we're brothers. We get a little silly. Yeah. Uh, the Vega Faro Tinto is just this really approachable, young, super fresh. Mm. Uh, Nice little blend, Bobal, Merlot, no oak aging, all stainless steel fermentation, um, you know, coming from all organic vineyards. Really, really cool. Killer price point, you know, sits at, I don't know, 12 bucks on a shelf. It's just really great. Very, very inviting. What do you, what do you have to say about the palate? Awesome. Like, it's really just, like you were saying, it's just really easy, approachable, but mm. at the same time, it's, it's quite got complex. I mean, it's got it's stuff so, going on. Yeah, it definitely does. Absolutely. Mm. It's like it's like rocky blackberry, yeah, and boysenberry and marionberry, uh huh, jamberry, yeah, um, rockberry, yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of those, yeah. So, so uh, Rebelia is kind of their next their next tier of reds up. Now, what's fun about this little bottle is, you know, obviously the label, the packaging is awesome. It's got this. This crazy, you know, upside down tone to it. Crazy, it's, it's upside down. This is so crazy. <laughs> um, and you know, the whole concept on this wine really is Rebellia is kind of in their, their local dialect is the the rebellion. Um, so his blend here, you know, he's working with forty percent of that Bobal grape, forty percent of Garnacha Tintorera, and then twenty percent of uh, Tempranillo. Now Garnacha Tintorera, we're gonna taste a hundred percent varietal um, of. You know, is, is super dark, beautiful, expressive uh, grape. Then you have the Bobal, you have some of this Tempranillo, and it's a not very common varietal blend to, to have happen. And Rodolfo, his whole concept of this wine is like, you know what, we're, 
we, we don't stick to the norm. We, we want to show that we have our rebellious side in what we do. We're, they're very earth conscious. conscious. Uh, they make some really amazing efforts to make extremely good wine, no matter whatever that, that might mean, being weird grape varietals or, uh, or cool little different tones of things. So what's fun, it's the, it's the rebellia, and it kind of shows it on the label as well. Well, talk to me. I really like this. this it's cool wine. It's re- like, right off the nose, mm. it's very, like, dusty limestone. Um, as if you were, I don't know what kind of soils mm. there are, but it's mm. very, like, um, as if you're cooking up the dust of, of the soil. Uh, a lot of clay. Okay. A lot of clay down there. Um, limestone. Not limestone at all, but... But, but <laughs> lots of dust. Lots of kicking oh, dust. Okay, all right. Cake and dust. <laughs> Lots of kick and dust. It's it's pretty hot climate, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, you get down to the south southeastern side of Spain, and there's there's a, it's warm, so plenty of kick and dust for you and you and your little rebelia. Mm. This is awesome. Yeah, I think the the fruit is so expressive. It's so, mm. and I do love the nose. The nose it's has really minerality in the palate, like super. Um, but more in like that, uh, loamy soil type mm. of thing. <laughs> Talking all sorts of. Soils, if you're a geologist, I, well, it's not geeky for a geologist, but... <laughs> the guy behind our camera is a geologist. He knows what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, you're, you're right. I mean, the, the earthy quality of this wine, mm. backed with kind of this really approachable fruit, it's and pretty cool. floral nuts, it's really, yeah. really good. It's pretty complex. I like what's happening in this wine. Yeah. And what, how much is this? This wine sits 15 bucks on a shelf. Easy. Easy. Any day. Easy peasy, any day. Um... Yeah, awesome stuff. So moving up the tier, this is now the Passamonte. The Passamonte is a 100% Garnacha Tintorera. So Garnacha, Garnacha Tintorera is the same grape as Alicante Boucher, which if you're familiar with that grape, is one of those very few red varietals in the world that the skin is red and so is the pulp, so, so is the is juice. The pulp. So it's really dark juice. I mean, like coming out of the grape, it's just like so. You dark. can tell. I mean, this is, this is dark, dark juice already. Mm-hmm. Um, and what's cool is, I mean, you can't even make, you can't even try to make a white wine from this. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, nope, it's gonna turn out red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you know, I forgot to talk about aging regiment, but you know, the these two wines both see some oak aging. The Rebelia sees about. Uh, six months in French and American oak, and the Passamonte sees about ten months in French and Hungarian oak. Um, both stainless steel fermentations, but but definitely have some wood aging, but not big and pronounced oaky tones to them. Um, what what are you getting on this one? It's definitely mm. much darker, much deeper, richer, um, but it still has that same like minerality note mm. driving through it, mm-hmm. piercing. Really focused earth tones to these wines, yeah, which I dig. Yeah, um, for sure. When you when you dive into a bottle of wine from Spain, then you know the idea is you know, show show off some of that earthy funk because Spanish yeah. wines have so much cool expression from the earth, from the land, from the from the climate. I mean, these things definitely are seeing quite a bit of uh, sun. And actually, what's what this wine is from Valencia, Dio. So you have the first two are Utiara Kenya. And then in from Valencia comes the uh, Passamonte. Hmm. So, but all estate fruit, all organically vi- uh, farmed vineyards, cool. um, 100% Garnacha Tintorera. Really, really exciting, inviting stuff at, at great price points. You know, this is kind of they're they're a nicer wine now, and you're still sitting at maybe 22 bucks on a shelf, 20, 23 dollars. Mm-hmm. Really nice uh, price points. They're and they're very approachable wines to drink and to kind of kind of geek out on. Yeah, that's the great thing about these kind of smaller regions is that. They're not as well known, so they're cheaper, but just as delicious. Right, absolutely. They pack a lot of punch, yeah. a lot of value in them. Mm-hmm. So um, I hope you can find some of these wines. They're they're awesome. They're drinking really well right now. Mm-hmm. Would be really fun on a dinner table too. You know, to kind of to kind of play with a few different cuisines and, and, and I types. Think, I think we should do that tonight. I think we're going to do that tonight. Yeah. Well, cool. Enjoy, and uh, we'll chat with you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.